So, today I have another Neo Kyo haul, which, to be honest, this one looks like a pretty small haul, but there's quite a few Ega sets in here and some exciting stuff. Um, there's mostly Zero Base 1, there is some 80s, a uh, tiny bit shiny, some Monster X, and some NCT as well. So, yeah, really, really excited to open this all up. As you can see, I've sort of taken everything out of, like, its initial packaging and also removed my name off all of the, um, all the labels and stuff like that. So we can sort of just get into it all, just start opening things up and, yeah, see what's, see what's here. Okay, so the first thing that I want to start with is this little shiny pack, which, as we can see, is Kibum's S-Mini from Hard, because... If anyone's seen my hard unboxing, you would know that for the S minis, I ended up with Tomin and Jinky. But obviously, I wanted Kibum because he is my ult. Of course, I want him. I got his photo card, but not his S mini. So I'm pretty sure this does come with his photo card. But the main reason why I bought it was just for the actual S mini. So if I can get into it. But we'll just take a quick look. I just, I love S minis. I think they're so cute. Ah, uh, they're so, so cute. So, I don't know if the card will be in here. No. Okay. So, I'm guessing that the card is what we've got in the little package behind it. So, I'll try and put this all back together. Again, if anyone's seen my hard unboxing, you would know that putting S-minis back together is, like, the bane of my existence. I find it just too challenging. But, I think I've got the hang of it now. So, I should have really removed the packaging from this, shouldn't I? No, okay, we're gonna need my knife for that. Hang on. Okay, cool. So, in here... We have Kibum's S mini card, and then, yeah, which is right here. So I already have this, but I probably will, I'll either put it up for sale or I will try to trade it for Taman's equivalent because I did not pull Taman. But we also have this, which I think is like the, is it the like Universal Music Japan card? So, I guess it's kind of a pop. I don't collect, like, um, non-selfie pops, because I'm just not really that bothered about them. But, either way, it's nice to have that, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. But we will set those up there, and keep on going. So that's it for Shiny. I've kind of grouped everything together by, like, the groups that we have in here. So, next, we're going to go for Monster X. I have a couple of Chankyun solo cards in here. So, I am trying to collect everything for Monster X. And I actually think this might be the first time that we're opening up Monster X cards on this channel. Which is crazy to me, because they are one of my old groups. They are... After... EXO, they're actually like my longest standing alt group, but my bias is Minhyuk, and he is currently in the military, and didn't have any solo releases or anything, so I don't have a lot of like Minhyuk cards to be working on at the moment, hence why I decided I wanted to collect everyone's solo cards. So yeah, this is some of the platform. Is it the platform stuff, or actually is it the photo book stuff? But I've got this, which is like the image card. This is one of his selfie cards. I think these are from the photo book versions actually of Overdrive. And then this is the other image card. So these are all from the blue version. Um, I bought, uh, what did I do? I bought one of each version for this album. So just like one for a book and one platform. Um, just because I don't collect like all album versions for Monster X and for their solos because that would just be too much, I think. I don't really have the space for it. 
so I'm slowly working on like getting all the photo cards but I also have another platform album here which I actually I think this is the version that I bought um I joined to go for it actually but I have another platform because uh, Chang Kyun had a lot of photo cards to be honest yeah uh, just a lot a lot of photo cards um, I will not be collecting the US cards, there's just, again, there's like, there's too many, I can't, I can't deal with all that, but I wanted another platform album so that I could collect the rest of the cards, so that's his QR card, which I'll put up there, and then in here, is the rest of our cards. So yeah, I don't mind having another platform album, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, but the great thing about platform albums is if you don't want to keep them, they're like easily recyclable. So I have this selfie card, which is super cute, and then this selfie card as well. So yeah, I I love Chang Kyun, he's like my second bias in Monster X. Well, him and him and Juhan are like the rest of my bias line. Um but yeah, I'm just I'm excited to be getting more Chang Kyun photo cards because his MX cards are very expensive to be honest. So as much as sometimes I would want to, I can't collect all of his stuff. But yeah, these are the stickers which I already have these but it's nice to like have more of them, I guess. Maybe I can use them for like decoration or something. So I think we'll go into 80s now, which as usual, I have some sound cards. Not a lot though, not as many as usual. So this is a pre-order benefit from Fever Part 3. I think, I don't know if this is an Everline card. Something's telling me Everline, but I could be wrong. But either way, very, very cute. Love him. This, I should, what I should have done actually is go through these by like era order. So, I then have this, which is his Yes24 pop from Fever Part 2. And it did actually come with an album card. I don't need this. That glare is bad. Yeah, I don't need the album card. I've had Sans album cards completed for like two years now at least. But this pub I needed. For some reason I was finding this really like difficult to get hold of. But we have it. So I'm making really good progress with my Fever Part 2 pubs actually. Most of what I'm missing now is like the San and Songhua units. This is the album card, by the way, which I will be putting up for trade or sale. So if anyone is interested in that, you can check my Instagram out. Um, but as I was saying, I'm missing the San and Songkwa units. And then like that, you know, the, the Kuromi for a card. Because that is just very, very overpriced. And aside from that, I think there's, like a, there's a couple more that I don't have from like later fansign eras. Um, but we, we're doing pretty well for the Fever Part 2. This is an epilogue pop. Something's telling me it's Apple Music, maybe? I can't remember. I really, really can't remember. I'd have to check a template, but yeah, I needed this one. It's extremely cute with his little squishy cheeks. I love him. Love him, love him, love him. So again, my, my epilogue pop collection is pretty solid. We're pretty happy about that. Then I have another San. This is the MMT pop. I don't know which round, but it's from... Ah, it's a little resealable. Uh, yeah, MMT pop from Fever Part 3. It's the vampire set, the Halloween ones that they did, which... Honestly, does it really look particularly vampire-y? I think only, like, I don't know what, Songkwa and Yosang both got the vampire memo, but I can't remember what the other members' cards look like for this, but yeah.
that is that sad. And that is where we're at for AT's cards. So next, I'm going to open up the NCT stuff that I have, which is some Taeyong cards. So I bought this set of cards from Shalala. This is the... Oh, is it the collector version? I can't really remember, but I got a set of all three. Or it might be the, the Thorn version. I don't know, I can't really remember. But I pulled... So I pulled this one from my albums, but then this this card, I knew I was not going to get this anywhere else. Like, I needed to just buy a set, because, I mean, like, I get it. Everybody wants this card. I'm so happy to have this. So very glad that I bought that in a set. Like I said, this I pulled. I already have it. So I will, again, be putting it up for trade or sale. I'm still missing a couple of Shalala cards. I think I'm mostly missing the S minis now, I think. That sounds all right. Um, so yeah, if anybody wants to trade, then I have this one as well, which is so cute. I'm, I'm loving the, the pink background. And the back, I love him. I love him so much. So that's the Taeyong Shalala stuff that I have. And then this, which I kept in its, like, packaging, because I thought this little bag is very, very cute. But I bought this. I only needed one card that's in this set. But that does not matter to me. Because it is a Kino card. And, wow, I really do love this bag. It's so cute. Neo Kyo sellers have been, like... I don't know, they've, they've been on something recently. This is the card that I needed, which is in a very, very cute top loader. But it is his Kino card from Resonance. Resonance Part 2? Yeah, it's the... I think the Arrival version. But yeah, I, for a long time, I said that I wasn't going to collect Taeyong's Kinos because they are so overpriced. But I have been finding them for really good prices recently, and yeah, I just needed this. I'm very, very happy about having that. But it also came with two Super M cards, which, good lord, I have not opened I have not opened a Super M card in a very, very, very long time. So there is his Super 1. Uh, this is the Korean press for a card, which, yeah, I already have it. It will be up for trade or sale. Um, if anyone, I don't even know if anyone still needs these cards, to be honest. But then I also have his unit with Taemin, which again, already have, have had this for years, like, since the album came out, but it's just, uh, it's so cute. I love that they did unit cards for Super M. I miss Super M. I know that we will, like, never see them again, probably, even though SM sort of teased some of them, but then, obviously, Jungin went off to the military, so yeah, nothing is, nothing is ever gonna happen there again, I don't think, but it's fine. So, the rest of what we have from this whole is zero base one cards and this is extremely exciting for me because this is the first lot of zero base one cards that i have i did join a go for youth in the shade for the i think it was the make star pobs the um the cat pobs and those albums still haven't arrived there's been like some delays um my group order manager like moved house so there's been like a few like delays with postage there as well, which is fine. Um, so I'm still waiting on those, but I just wanted to start buying pobs. So the first thing that I have here is actually a set of cards that I hosted a go for. So I decided to just like do these as a member claim because it is a set of the Bring Green photo cards that they did. So. Only two of these are mine, because for Zero Base 1, I'm collecting Gunook and Jiwoong. Um, I'm only keeping those two, but I have 
all nine members here, so it's amazing that I get to, like, look at these. All these cards have been claimed, so, like, later this afternoon I'm gonna start packing these up so that they can get to their new homes, but let's go through them. So we have Eugene, very, very, very cute card. I like how these cards feel, actually, like, they're matte, and I didn't realise that they were matte. But this is also this is the first time I've seen, like, Zero Base One signature backs, so that... I don't know, this is kind of surreal. So then we have Juon, which I'm keeping this card. He is so cute. I love him so much. We have Guin. I kind of wanted to claim this as well and keep him for myself, but I can't collect three members of Zero Race 1. But, oh god, I just, yeah, I really love him. Like, I, I liked him a lot watching Boys Planet, but then watching all of, like, their debut content... He's, like, got even higher on my bias list. Then we have Terre. Again, super, super cute card. His signature. I don't think I've seen his signature before. What? This is so cute. Oh, Terry, we love you. Then we have Gonuk, which, yeah, this... He is he's my, like, my top bias in Zero Race 1. He was my one pick for Boys Planet. I voted for him so many times. I was so, so happy when he made it. I just, I love him so much. And this card is so cute. And I love his signature too. Then we have Ricky, of course. Our very, very handsome boy, Ricky. We have Matthew. This is a really cute Matthew card, actually. Like, oh, yeah, no, he's so cute. And his signature is very cute. You know, all of Zero Base One really, really understood the assignment with the signatures. Then Hanbin, which again, I know I keep saying it, but these cards are just so cute. So yeah, there's Hanbin. And then we have Hal. And I would love to collect Hal because he was also one of my picks um, for from watching Boys Planet. But he is so expensive. So unfortunately, I don't know, I might try and collect his album cards, maybe, and that's that's like a big maybe. But yeah, I don't know, I'd still, I love how he's he's really cute, but yeah, I'm really, really happy about having all these cards. Um, like I said, I'll only be keeping Juung and Gunuk, the rest already have their like new homes sorted. So yeah, excited to get those out to people. I'm just gonna move everything slightly up so that we've got room to open the last few cards in here. Okay, here we go, got a little bit more room. So let's keep going with Zero Base One because I still have some more cards here. So the rest of what we've got here is mostly gonna, to be honest. Uh, Cause I kind of want to collect like all of his pops. Some of them are quite challenging, I can't lie. And his lucky draws as well, but I believe yeah, these two are his Tower Records pubs, which are so, so cute. So cute, especially, I love this one. So we have two Gunnook Tower Records cards, which I just realised I didn't show you the backs. So those are there. Then here is, I think, one of his K-Town lucky draws. So this might actually even be the K-Town, like, cafe event. So it came with this little... I don't really know what this is. Like, if anyone does know what these are, please tell me, because I've not really seen them before, and I just don't know. But he looks very cute, so it's... we're just gonna sort of set him there. But yeah, this is the K-Town card which is adorable, because of course it is. It's going to, all his cards are super cute. Then in here I have his, I think, is this the With Me card? I'm not fully sure. Oh, it came with a freebie, Ooh, which I've just dropped. Let's pretend like I didn't drop that. Let's take a look at the freebie. Oh, it's so cute. Wow, we, you know what, we love what New York Sellers have been doing recently, like, thank you for giving me freebies, but this is his card, like I said, I think it's the With Me one, but I could, I'll be wrong, 
I probably am, knowing me. But very, very, very cute. I, d I know I said that I'm collecting Gunook and Jiung. I don't think I want to collect all of Jiung's pobs, just because that's, like, quite a big endeavour. But there are certain ones where I know I want both of them. And this set, I, I want both. And here I have... This is another Tower Records card. It's his Polaroid. Now, if anybody knows me, you would know that I love Polaroids. And also this concept. These are like the Digipack concept cards. Um, I, yeah, I'm obsessed with it. I think this is so, so cute. Yeah, he looks... Yeah, he just looks amazing. So I bought his Polaroid from Tower Records, and I'm extremely happy to have that. So this is actually the last thing that I have from this haul, and it's a set. I was really struggling, I don't know if you can tell, but I was struggling to find Zero Base One stuff in sets that were actually reasonably priced. So what we will see here is that I don't need everything in this set, but the main reason why I bought this was for this M-Wave Pob from Gunook, which I can't get out of the sleeves. But yeah, this is one of my favourite Pobs. So, like I said, I love this concept so much. It's, like, one of my favourite concepts. Um, his M-Wave Pobs, both of them are amazing. Like, I desperately, desperately want the other one. It's the, um, the one where he's wearing, like, the panda hat. But yeah, his M Wave Pop. I'm extremely happy about having that. I'm gonna have to put him there because we're very, very nearly out of space. But that's okay because we're on the last couple of cards. So I also have in here a Juung Furrow card, which is his K Town Pop, I believe. This, again, I want both members for. I'm still looking for Gunnooks, but I, I thought these sets are so cute. Like, the ones where they're taking the selfie, it's like, Inception, yeah, I just, I love them, I'm obsessed with Zero Base One, like, I, I knew, because I watched Boys Planet, I knew that I was gonna, like, be into the final group, but the lineup was just so good, I had no choice but to, at this point, could they be an alt group? I could see them getting up there, and that's worrying for me because I've never really stand a produce group before, but it's... I feel it happening, I really do. If their second album is as good as the first. This is Ricky's M-Wave card, which I'm not collecting Ricky. I feel like I need to say that. I'm not collecting Ricky. If I was to pick up a third member of Zero Race 1, it would be between Howe and Gugan. Although I do love Ricky, Ricky's probably then my like, bias after Howe and Gugan, but I'm not going to be collecting him. He just came in the set, and my plan is to try and trade him for any of the other Gunnug pobs that I need. I'm open to trading him for a Duong pob that I need as well, but I think I'm like mostly there with the Duong pobs that I wanted. But yeah, this is everything that I got from Nyokyo. So, yeah, as you can see, there's quite a bit of Zero Base 1, because I'm finally starting that collection. Really, really, really excited to be collecting these boys. I love them. But we also have a good amount of NCT. Uh, a few ATs cards, because who would I be if I didn't have ATs? You know, this one shiny thing that I needed and then some progress on my Chankyun solo collection. So yeah, very, very happy with what we have in this little haul today. Um, there should be another haul coming soon. I have a Poke Market haul on the way to me. I'm trying to decide if I want to wait until that arrives to do a new storing photo cards video, or if I just want to get into it, because I have quite a bit of stuff that I've been sort of saving up from group orders and just purchases recently as well. Um, so yeah, you will be seeing these cards again fairly soon, I would imagine. It's just whether or not that storing cards video comes out before or after my Poke Market haul, which that should arrive next week. 
So yeah, look forward to those videos, and uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you soon.